front of the pyramids, if you were in the Grand Canyon. Is there any visual information that doesn't get translated into inspiration that turns into something here? Yeah, you know, it's all unconscious. Even when you're not realizing, you're, ch you're, you're channeling in a way. You're, you're, you're being informed. I think we all have this very strange secretary in our brain that takes dictation, and then we bring it forth when we need to. When you hear about his, his inspirations, do you then get more intrigued and interested? Of course. I mean, Ralph, all of his inspiration comes from art and artists, and it's amazing. And because of Ralph, every season I tell him, he enriches my life. I understand as much as anyone can what he likes. I actually am doing a very dark eye this season in two pairs of kind of fluffy, feathery lashes. I'm very much um, try to sense what he's going to want. So all of these pieces are treated in a sculptural way, flat, and then turned on themselves. So I've written messages, certain messages, very abstractly into the clothes. Laurent, what on earth are you doing? It's genius. But, you know, every season, uh, Ralph asked me if I can if I can shave the, the girls. Head. We've been working for several seasons together and I, and I know that every season it's a new challenge of finding a way of making all the hair disappear. It just came to my mind and he liked it. He is thoughtful, he's creative, he's careful and he is totally inventive and he's, uh, he's a genius so I sort of like geniuses. This life is so short. I turned 50 this year. I've been doing this for 25 years. I take it very seriously. With so many clothes out there, what, what gives you the drive to create more clothing? One part is constantly striving for something new. And, um, and then the other part is I think this is my life. You have to make it meaningful. There's no such thing as a compromise.